Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and Saiken plays our Frost Mage is continuing on the World of Warcraft hardcore servers. Um, as mentioned uh, the last time, we are uh, trying to get to 60 without dying. Well, that's the whole uh, scheme of a uh, hardcore run. We are currently level 25 as you can see, just shortly as always going through uh, the gear. So we uh, successfully have gotten a couple of nice uh, shoulders. Uh, we got the ropes of Arugal from our run uh, last time. We got uh, the Crescent Staff from the Wailing Caverns. Uh, we got a new ring, Seal of Sylvanas, uh, with 8 stamina, that is huge. And uh, other than that, a lot of uh, stamina and intelligence gear. We're rocking 1670 mana self-buffed and almost uh, 800 hit points. We are starting today in the Stone Talons. Um, and interestingly enough, we're going to see a couple of quests up here, uh, which we're going to do followed up by oh, 50, 26, 27, uh, 26. No, we can do all of those. So we're going to do those two quest hubs. And afterwards, uh, we're going to go to Ashen Vale. So uh, we've already done a quest here off screen with uh, these antlered couriers. Uh, just getting uh, their eyes. It's really just killing 15 of uh, them. Uh, but now we're ready to go ahead and kill a lot of uh, the enemies uh, here. As you can see, somewhat equal level enemy typically ends up dying if we're not getting uh, resists uh, fairly easy. So we're going to get a lot of uh, stone tail and zap and are uh, pulling a couple of uh, centur uh, centur uh, centurions from the mid, a uh, couple of dry dryads. This here is a contested zone, uh, so there is uh, there are alliance players as well, but we should be okay. The same cannot be said for our uh, for our backpacks. We're having quite a uh, quite a few backpacks and poor latency. So I'm just realizing. Gosh, damn it! We're playing with 800 latency, but okay, it is what it is. Can't change it. Just need to play uh, safe in a PVE environment. It's not that bad. I wouldn't PVP uh, with uh, that kind of ping, but I got to uh, deal with uh, what we currently uh, have available. So, uh, that's really just killing sad beasts here. I will fast forward that for you, uh, since it is quite uh, straightforward. So, fast forwarding. All right, there are a couple of dangers here that one needs to be aware of. Sentinel Amaras certainly is one of them. Uh, she's patrolling the southern region, and uh, given that she's here, I do not feel the urge of doing anything there however we do have a couple of uh, these guys the botanists basically druidic casters So a little tip, uh, always mark uh, the elites so that you're having a good overview and they're never running into you. Another quest that we need to do is not only kill the blobs, but also these twilight runners. Now 
nasty little cats. But uh, carry whiskers. And we need five of uh, them as well. So cats are pretty much up here. Might as well collect the whiskers now and then leave them be. And whilst we're doing it, um, get these night elves slash dry dryads down. When using Frost Nova, just gotta be careful that you're not accidentally aggroing a neutral uh, mob. Very good. So, I'll continue grinding down these uh, Twilight Runners and we'll fast forward it uh, for you. Good, we got our Twilight Whiskers done, uh, so... Oh. oh! Oh! That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Level 59, Warlock. Oh boy. Sorry to see that. Oh boy. So as I was saying, we kind of uh, have uh, most of our uh, stuff done. Now it's time to go for the scenarians. Brigade here. Crimson bodyguard. Okay. He was maybe being swarmed. Oh, that sucks. Good. Time for us to go uh, and kill some of the Scenarian uh, botanists. And as you can see, Counterspell comes in super handy because they are all nature spec, which means the moment that you get one of their spells on cooldown with Counterspell, they ain't got shit left. Just gotta be careful with uh, the elite uh, patrolling here. Good. These here are dryads, so they do also have a spear that they can throw. Once we're done with them, uh, the only thing left over is killing the slimes, and we should be good to go. Excellent uh, quest area up here, just a lot. That you can do in uh, that very area. Can't really do anything about the rejuvenation. Classic didn't have spell steal. Uh, super good spell uh, for the mage later. Uh, in I think Cataclysm is what it uh, what introduced it. I'm uh, not Cataclysm, sorry. Uh, Burning Crusade. these guys I generally do not like pet classes and 
The Son of Sin uh, Scenarion is no exception in that regard. Worst enemies are Warlocks uh, with the Voidwalker. High hit points, the Voidwalker is still hitting like a truck, although they technically shouldn't. And then the Warlock on top of it is casting. I don't like the foresty area because we could be ambushed. Uh, and that isn't great either. I'll mark uh, this guy PvP enabled. And one of the problems is if you are getting hit by a PvP enabled uh, mob, that means you are PvP flecked as well. And believe me, there will be a high level character here once in a while that is going to use uh, that for their advantage. Alright, I'll finish this one here and fast forward for you. Alright, so we are done with the quests and that is good. I had a little bit of latency issues, so I played it really, really safe. Uh, nothing worse than dying to the good old lag. Uh, that would really be heartbreaking. I mean, if I'm making a mistake, sure, uh, no problem. But internet issues, that's a diff different story. Good. We got a few hit points, a uh, few bits of experience there. We're going to trade in the remaining quests here and there. And take it from there, I think. All right, we traded in all of uh, the quests the last time and got a couple of uh, bits and pieces of experience. We're almost level 26, so I want to do this quest up here, uh, which is going to be the last uh, quest up in the Stone Tail and Mountains. And then I think I'll transition to Ashenvale Forest because there is Black Fathom Depth. Um, and that's an interesting dungeon that I definitely want to uh, complete in this uh, challenge whilst we're still at the adequate level and 26 by the way is a fantastic level for that so um, bear with me we're uh, we're going in uh, for a few more quests here and i think this time i'm also showcasing the actual uh, quest progress so that next time we're we can start with uh, bfd which is uh, going to be like, like i said an interesting dungeon so off we go let's move to the quests off we go, we go into the part uh, that is amongst the highest level uh, here in Stone Tail. And funnily enough, you can see that not a lot of people die here simply because if you have made it that far in Stone Tail and you typically know your way around. I think there is also no Alliance camp up here. Someone died. Level 20 Warlock. Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyways, let's focus on our gameplay and let's make sure that we're not going to be the next one to go. good so we gotta kill elementals and harpies easy enough specifically since the harpies are apparently fleeing if necessary
Good. Well, let's move a little bit deeper. And yeah, we need to plant gear seats down there as well. Cool. Thanks to the hunter. Uh, we are not even running into anything. But whenever someone else clears a way for you, make sure that you are aware that, that means respawns are probably coming at some point. So we're going to drink up and continue moving. Good, time for a lot of harpies to die. Interestingly enough, wind callers are not amongst the ones that we need, but pretty much everybody else. Let's free, uh, free up the trees as much as possible. And in particular, whenever I'm entering an area, I make sure that I get the wandering mobs first whenever that's possible. Because that will easily allow you to deal with uh, the other mobs, because all of a sudden they're not coming in pairs. Good question is, what do we need to use the seeds on? So it says we can plant the seeds here, but I mean, they need to be planted somewhere, right? Can't just plant them on the ground. I do not remember where exactly. Let me find that out. All right, it says fertile ground of soil, uh, which I think will be little dirt piles. At least that's what it typically means. Whilst we're running around, uh, let's make sure that we're getting a solid collection of almost all of the mobs that we need. And there we go and have a couple of wind callers, which I think we need as well. Pretty sure the soil ah here that's that's the soil we're looking for cool
All right, was interrupted, so let's try this again. I think I need to clear a bit more of the area as well. I just don't want to have additional enemies aggro us. Good, this guy is a problem. Of times there is one elite kind of amongst all of them. And my personal strategy is just mark them and stay far, far away or far enough away. There's another dirt pile and also more elementals. As long as we're playing around the edges, we should be reasonably safe. That was one of I I rather clear a mob uh, than get ambushed. That was one of the cases where I was almost hitting the trigger, uh, pulling the trigger. A couple of rogue feathers back there. Freezing is so good in the meantime uh, that we really can keep them at distance without a problem. Quite happy that I've chosen Frost as the leveling spec. The elementals are fun, of course not when you're a fire mage because then they are immune against your main source of damage. These guys here have thrash, extra source of damage for them. But we're fine. And we, we now do have arctic reach too. Which is uh, coming in quite handy because we have a long, long range with our spells. Just look at that. Massive range. What are we rocking? 36 yards. That's even further than the original Firebolt. Now an upgraded Firebolt uh, ball has 35 r uh, range and we're already at 36. That's helpful. Longer range in particularly means you're having a longer uh, leash period. That plus the 15% uh, chance to freeze the target, which in a nutshell uh, means every sixth uh, cast automatically freezes them. It's a pretty good combination.
Nice. Smooth sailing here, as long as you're staying uh, alongside the edges and being respectful with the elites. The Slayers are a different topic. These uh, guys do have Execute, as they are warriors. And we don't want to mess with that, so keep them at distance. Should be a single pull here. There's a potential chest. Not sure if I value the chest that much that I would clear three mobs just for the fun of it. Potentially not. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are good loot sources. But I potentially need to clear this this one here anyways. It's interesting how it resisted. My counter spell. That was not that great. Got to be more mindful with these guys in the future. Um, a counter spell would have worked wonders against them. Time to get the Slayer. Good. We're just going to get the loot in GTFO. Perfect. That was like the worst loot possible. That thing at Will of the Forsaken there. Yeah, that's pretty smooth sailing. I'll see. Uh, we need a couple more slayers and just a normal harpies. And we definitely need more of the rubble piles to plant seeds in. I think I will fast forward a little bit. It takes longer than expected, uh, so I'm giving it a go. Alrighty, we're done. It took a while, but then at the end of the day we killed all of them. There are, by the way, two uh, named or elite harpies. I didn't know that, but both of them uh, seem to be sisters, at least uh, that's what their name indicates. And yeah, we got 
quite a bit out of it. Next stop will be Ashen uh, Vale, as we've cleared the Harpy threats and with it literally most of the other stuff. There isn't uh, that much left over. Yeah, the Blood Fury um, bloodline. That's the elite quest there. That's an interesting pair of boots because I'm typically not running into spirit, but it has higher AC and just a higher item level. I think I'll still stick uh, with my boots. Stamina is just too important. Not uh, dying after a couple of hits is all that matters at the moment. And I think we're pretty much done here. Let's see what Tsunamon gives us as a reward. Cool. Good enough for me. I think what we're going to do next is we're going back to Ogrima and are taking it uh, from there and anyway, I need to get my new skills uh, regardless sell a bunch of stuff and uh, essentially make my way uh, off to Ashenvale which is going to be interesting uh, because that's a contested zone I think for now uh, that is pretty much all I had for episode number nine we're doing uh, reasonably well uh, so far Uh, hopefully we're going to reach 30 soon. Let's go. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.